Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. We got another video for you today. And this is one is going to be more of a serious topic. Uh, it's something that uh, I haven't covered publicly, but it, it's something that it's it's not like really an elephant in the room because everyone knows about it. It's been going on for quite some time now. Uh, I hadn't really looked too much into it since the Shatter Gotham or Justice League Dark DLC because that's when the OP back changed to the artifact style system. So I was wondering why so many people had the OP back and and realized it was the same speed hackers had their back uh, tier high enough so they were getting the elite catalyst to drop and selling them on the broker and making like multiple 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 billions of dollars selling that because they had speed tacked their way to the highest tier of the the rank to get those catalysts to drop because at that point if you didn't have the op back at a high enough tier you would never you could run a lead and not get those catalysts to drop but they were uh, so that's when i kind of looked into it to see who the players were who the names were um, not that it would surprise anyone and then kind of drift away from that so I guess to be to start with I should clarify what I mean by speed hacking I'm not saying that these players on their main account are speed hacking you know that's just you know it's stupid uh, eventually speed hackers can get found out or or that account be banned but I'm saying that they are purposely entering the group with a speed hacker that just on some throwaway dummy PC account uh, that you can see our skip up like it doesn't have to be any stats artifacts anything you're just for there for speed hacking regardless so they're purposely running with that to be able to get feats, renown, you know, gear, whatever, like, you know, in the first few days. So that's, that's what I mean by speed hacking. It's pretty much guilty by association. And I'm sure that the vast majority of these players also did the, you know, link dead glitch. So they, if they were banned during that, then they're basically already on a final strike. So the reason why I can't really speculate why the developer team haven't, or I mean, it's not the whole developer team, but, you know, the, some of the developers haven't chosen to, you know, not so much bring the ban hammer down, but more of a focus on that. Like they just basically ban the speed hackers account. But I mean, what's the point of banning a speed hacker when they're just going to buy another PC account or create one and then be speed hacking in the same afternoon? I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a throwaway account. Uh, what they're not doing is banning the players that are in that group that benefited from that speed hacker. And that's what they need to do. So that brings us to kind of this DLC. Um, this one I decided to focus on it more because this is the first DLC that uh, has been a challenge. Uh, it's the been elite raid that's been presented that's actually difficult. I mean, so far for the elite, uh, for the elite raid, uh, Fractured God Sphere, I know of officially only two leagues that have beaten it. Uh, Pony on the EU side, like uh, my league here, it's, we we pretty much have it on farm, multiple groups. Uh, I myself am already like half elite, uh, waist, hand, shoulders, head. And I've got the weapon and neck from the vendor waiting on the ring so I can get another CR. So uh, we're farming it. Select View has done it on the US side. I don't think Neurotic has. I mean, I don't see any evidence of it. I saw the video. There's there some people were talking about it. Uh, but I guess they're just lying. I don't know. But I know Neurotic and Elusive usually combine a group to beat it. But uh, I don't see any evidence of that. Uh, success was close. Other than that, I really don't see any other leagues. Like, it's something that, you know, if it's something that is this difficult, you're going to come forward and have a video clip or something like that. Like, a picture of a headline means nothing because you could just speed hack it. So, unless you want to clip, like, the last 30 seconds of the Zeus fight <laughs> and show that, it, or show the scorecard, you want to show the full scorecard because that speed hacker would have, like, you know, a billion damage or something like that, unless you want to show that scorecard. But, right, yeah, right now it's only two leagues. So, when you look at like wave docs, which I'll show you in a moment, I just want to kind of give you this kind of brief introduction to it. But I mean, when you look at wave docs and you look at the feats, because there are some major, major feats in this DLC, uh, those, uh, the no death feats. So when I see players with that or with full renowned or like full elite gear, all the skill points day one or day two, it's it's like, come on, really? <laughs> it's 2020 in DC Universe Online, and you need to speed hack just so you can have the max skill points in the game. You know, just so you can feel better about yourself and, you know, feel great when you go to sleep at night saying, hey, I've got the most skill points on DC Universe Online or I have all the elite feats or I'm sitting in the watchtower with full elite gear, you know, and just because you speed hacked in two days to get that, I mean, is that, does that make you feel good about yourself? I mean, like, what's the point? I mean, this is the first elite raid that's actually been difficult in a while. Uh, none of the tier 10 raids were hard enough. Tier 9... Like Hive and Machine were kind of close, but I mean at the same time they weren't, especially not in terms of feats. Like there's no there's no feats in Hive and Machine that are anywhere close to the no death feats and stuff like that we have in this DLC. Uh, going back like Ultimate Soldier and Dark Side War Factory were harder than this. Um, Unholy Match or 
Happiness Home probably but ties it for when the dead was harder. So it's not like this is some super hard elite raid. It's, I mean, the Zeus fight is really simple. I mean, you saw that in the video that I uploaded previously. Uh, it's only the Grail fight that really is the challenge. And then basically just Zeus kind of is like a survivability contest where Grail kind of, like Sharon kind of threw everything in the kitchen sink at us with Grail, which is what makes it challenging. It's basically the, the bottleneck for that raid. If you pass Grail, you're going to pass to the end. So it's just... I mean, it annoys me to no end, like, that these players, these endgame players, like, what's the point of being max CR if you aren't good enough to beat the Elite Raid yourself? Like, why why even bother doing Elite if you're just going to speed hack it? Just because you want those skill points? Just because you want that max CR so you can, what, flex on group members saying, haha, I'm max CR? Or, or just so you can look great on wave docs? Or, like, what? Uh, what is the reasoning behind you, like, being so pathetic and weak that you have to speed hack Elite? In the first few days you know just so you can feel good about yourself or, or just so you can complete it i'm like be a real man and actually complete the content or actually try it you know don't just don't don't just like wimp out and be like pretty much a pussy and just go into it and speed hack it from day one so that being said let's jump into the actual numbers and let's name some names okay so we reached the uh, evidence section of it uh, so this is basically, we're going to be using two websites. One is the essentially the new DCO wave docs or, or DCO bot. And we're also going to be using the missing feet checker, you know, Zone Nexus, uh, to give us the detail on how we 100% know their speed hacking and uh, what hopefully, you know, at least putting these names on blast. So the first one, so we're looking at specifically some feats here. So Source Mastery. So in Wonderverse, uh, Fracture Gods for Elite only, during the fight against Zeus, have no one in the raid group get knocked out. Uh, so one, only two Lee groups have even gotten past <laughs> Grail. So there shouldn't be like a vast amount of people running Zeus Elite. Um, and not only that is you have the no death beat. Yeah, it's a super slow fight, but there are like infinitely easy ways to die on Zeus or have a, have a death. So, um, you know, it's, it's no... No feet being short of having no death on that one. So the other one we're looking at is Holy Grail, which is the no death on Grail, which obviously if anyone's even on Grail, I mean, there's tons of leagues running um, Grail. So I'm not going to sit here and say I know every single league running Elite. I'm sure there's plenty farming the bounties and haven't even stepped foot into Elite yet. But every league that stepped into uh, Elite know the difficulty of Grail. So to have a no death feet on Grail, then you know something's iffy with that one. And the main one, the daddy of them all, God of the Death Defying, which means it's the no death feat for the entire raid. So it means in one raid, you had zero deaths on Grail, zero deaths on Zeus, and zero deaths on the adds. Uh, and it's even really easy to get deaths on the adds. Like, those aren't any jokes, especially if you're any kind of melee range in terms of splash damage, or the flowers, or everything like that, or the, or the Hive Colony Master. So, I mean, this one, I'm not even sure if it's even possible with the DLC gear when we're full elite. I mean, full lead's 321 CR, and that's still going to be a, a tough feat. So, I mean, that's that's the big feat, the one you know, the one that you 100% know if they have this feat, then they're sitting back and speed hacking. Like, there's literally no denying. Well, there's no denying any of these, but really, that's the one where it's like, okay, <laughs> you know, what's your side of the story? So, uh, how you find this out? Um, so, there's a couple ways. So, you can go to top characters, go to skill points in all worlds. Kind of a dead giveaway. Um, Especially where like Homage, Blitzkrieg, Night Terror, all in the same league. Hmm, kind of question mark. They're all in the same league. So from there, you can pick a name. So we can just pick Bless because I know <laughs> this one, he can change his name as much as you want. If you remember the old Wave Docs rankings, this is the guy that was 00, zero space 0000. Zero, zero, zero. Like he only cared about being top of a Wave Docs. Um, and he also had multiple tunes that were like 00000000. Zero, 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 zero. Like he had like four or five tunes there. So his only purpose in life was to be the top of Wave Docs. Uh, and then he changed his name to Bless. He used to be in Well Now. Well Known was the league. And then he changes, I think he changed his league too. So if we go to putting his name in here. And just get rid of Gemino Styles. We're going on episodes. So we know he at least has, doesn't have this one yet. So I, I guess his speed hacking is a bit worse than the other ones. But what you don't see is Source Mastery. So the... You're missing the feat. He's, he, does, he already has the feat for the no death feat on Zeus. And he has the no death feat for Grail. So I guess the speed hacker just screwed up on, on somewhere and died. But he's got no death feats for both the Zeus and Grail. Which is not possible. 
it is not even remotely possible to have no deaths on Grail. I mean, anyone who's even stepped foot in that knows right away to call bullshit on that. So, um, a little bit easier of a search is here. So, back during, uh, if you know Ion Hero in the forums, he's the one that created uh, Zone Nexus. So back during survive mode, he created a listing for the feed ID that you could search it and basically it would show you all the players that have this feat in game. So every single player that has a certain feat, if I have the ID, you could search it and pull them up in a list. Which is what we use during survival mode just to see who had the round 30 feet uh, and just to see who beaten it. So it also includes if you buy the feat on alt, so technically you could have some duplications because they're in alt. But essentially this feat right here, the feat ID, is for the Source Masters. If we go back to here, Source Mastery is the no death feat on uh, Zeus. And then this one here, this one is the big no death feat. So this is uh, go uh, God of the uh, Death of the Fine. So if we start looking through these names, Scarlet Voter, Zero One Blitzcrag, uh, Philly Luck Ray, Appreciated, Shelly, Night Terror, Nightshade, Pearl, Chaos, Mike Fury, Easy Boy, Rock with Million, uh, Gritza, K65, Mary Magdalene, Purple, uh, Okula, Gib, High Protege, Devita, and which uh, conveniently he deleted his tune or changed the name just yesterday, uh, and was in uh, Huey along with Shelly. Uh, Blade Who, Queen of the Boss Mons, Verse Sun, Eilish, Sasha, Homage, OG Navi, Lifely, Healthcare, Atrocitus, Bless, and Rebirth. So all of these 34 players have source mastery so all these 34 players somehow <laughs> have the no death feat on zeus in a fractured god sphere elite on the first few days so okay uh and then going to the big one this is the god of the death defying we have voter zero one blitzkrieg night terror rock mobilin gritza okay glib i protege devita and Conveniently deleted his account or changed his name. Blade Who, Homage, Atrocities, and Rebirth. So now, what, what what kind of names did you see familiar there? So going back to top characters, oh look, there's Homage, there's Zero and Blitzcrag, there's Night Terror, there's Bless, there's Birth Sun, there's Gritza. So big surprise. So if we actually go to that league, Ghosted on the USPC or USB uh, PS. Homage, Blitzcrag, Night Terror, Gritza, Glib, Atrocitus, Nightshade, Rock and Villain, K65. Little Bro. All the same names. So this entire league just sat and speed hacked all the way through Elite in the first couple of days. Just so they could feel better about being on the top characters with most skill points. Um, I know Homage likes to flex how much he has in this game and how much billions he has across all his tunes. Like, he's literally just a pathetic individual. Uh, he used to like actually be legit and try to race success to, to survival mode and feats in the back in the day and like Trigon SM and said he was going to beat us in rounds but never did because he's just that pathetic. Uh, so he's just as bad now as he was back then. So you've got an entire league sitting and just speed hacking just so they can get max ER, just so they can get max renown, just so they can get all the feats, you know, just so they can say they're complete on this game. So how shitty is it going to feel? If the developers actually take some action and actually want to, you know, you know, pull up their pants and, and actually take it to them and just rid their accounts. Two week suspensions, taking away all their artifacts, taking away all their gear. Uh, that's what I would do. I mean, here, keep the homage account. You know, I don't give a shit. You can have your homage account. I'm just going to take all your gear. I'm going to take all your artifacts and all your money across all your tunes. So you basically just have to start from scratch. And you know half these players will just because I guess they have nothing better in life to do than play DC. I mean, I'm in the same kind of boat, but I'm not going to speed hack. <laughs> because, I mean, what's the point of that? Like, the whole point is to have that progression. The whole point of having this raid be as difficult as it is, is to have that step in the right direction so we get the old content that we used to have enjoyable. Like, I could spend all, I could spend my whole hours every day in Fractured Gods here because I like the challenge. I like... You know, it gives me that, I wouldn't say like adrenaline rush, it just gives me that um, sense of accomplishment when I beat it. You know, if I'm doing something that like a fraction of the community can do, like like just like survival mode, just like the, the all my world first no death feats, you know, these, that gives me that sense of accomplishment, that gives me like a good feeling. It's not like I'm trying to flex on others, like rarely, I'm not going around like showing off like my feats or I'm not showing off saying, oh, you're trash because I have this feat and you don't. Like that's not me. It's just, it's all personal. It's all personal achievements. That's the way I look at it. 
Uh, it's, it's stuff that just adds to my resume on, on DC. That's the way I look at it. So when I have, you know, like pathetic players, this, that, that just kind of skip all over that and just for whatever reason, they just want to sit with max ER and max feats and, and max renown just so they can flex in the watchtower so players can inspect them going, oh, how'd you get that? It's just, it's, it's sad and pathetic and that's what it is. And I hope, I hope that there, there's developers watching this, this video. I hope that there's players in game that message these players saying like how pathetic they are. I hope there's ones that they've done something else to get reported. You know, I would love nothing more than to see these players just get the, just get examples made out of them so that it discourages like why even refer to yourself as an end game player if you're going to speed hack what's the point it's 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 dc like go play another game if you want to do this like what's the point of speed hacking on dc just so you can get max everything of a dlc in the first few days i mean this dlc is going to be out for months i mean what i don't see the point just so you can flex on wave docs or flex in game or just be max skill points like because if they did this, just imagine all the other feats they did. So it is what it is. I will put the links to this in the description because this auto updates. So basically every time you click on this link, it'll be a new list of names that have completed it. So you can keep track. Uh, I'll put this in the description and in the comment sections. You can keep track who has the no death feat from this day going forward. As, as soon as you, anyone with this feed ID, because this feed ID 7112305 is the uh, God of the Death Defying. So anyone that has speed hacked this feat will show up on this list no matter what and the same thing with this one this is going to show anyone with a source master or a source mastery so that all these people did the zeus no death feat and all these players did the entire raid no death feat so it is what it is you know it's just another video that i thought i wouldn't have to do i think the last one i covered was like the throne of the dead glitch with the quantum teleporting when all the pc pl or ps players just farm that for a weekend to get their OP face, and it was so bad about the elite, like the glitching and, and farming, that the developers actually rolled back gear over the entire weekend on players. And I think I, I think the video still up on my channel. It, it might have been, it was my old one, so it might have got deleted. But I called out an entire league who did it, uh, and they did the same thing. And so we'll see what happens. I just had to make this video because I'd like to keep this game to have a level of competitive integrity, and with you know losers like this that want to do this just breaks that so take care guys we'll see you in the next video